Hi, I'm Annette Johnson. I'm here with Frank Chingamo. That's right. Dumbo, did I say that right? You said it Good. right, Frank Chingamo. That's me. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And you are Annette Johnson. I'm Annette Johnson. The lovely and, and talented Annette yeah, Johnson, absolutely. everyone. Absolutely. This is my first experience yeah. doing the uh, podcast. Uh huh. And uh, I'm glad to have you here. So. Let's get our audience more acquainted with you. And oh, yeah. Tell, tell me a little bit about yourself, Frank, and what you, what, what you got going on, and what are you doing currently? Well, generally, people who see me think, once they've seen me, that I should be on a podcast. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, a, I'm a film school professor. I started as a short filmmaker. I won all kinds of awards, like, didn't win an Oscar, but pretty close, oh. and won a whole bunch of Golden Eagles and things like that, and uh, film at Cannes. And I was the short film guy for like the cable nets and then I started doing it for the web and then for mobile and that got me on the front page of the LA Times and a cover story in Forbes magazine and I was a pioneer of mobile films. And then I pioneered the teaching of this at USC, at UCLA, Chapman, Emerson, Pepperdine, Columbia and uh, currently Loyola Marymount University as well as Chapman University. Okay. And so I had a vision. What vision was that, Frank? Yeah, what vision was that, Frank? Oh, my God, you read my mind. Uh, (laughs) uh, The vision was that what if you could go to a film school Uh inside of a virtual reality headset? So you could be anywhere in the world, right? Yeah, Yeah. that's interesting. You could be on your couch doing a podcast, Mm -hmm. click that off, turn on your VR, report to class. Your avatar is there in class with us, and you're learning about film from anywhere in the world. So... Interesting. Yeah. Interesting concept. Yeah. Is that concept already in development? Or oh, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Virtualfilmschool.org is where we are. Oh, wow. A, a stellar cast of stars, of people in education, uh-huh. and uh, multiracial, multi, multi-ethnic, multi-age, multi-everything. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. So yeah. all of the universities that you teach... Um, they have this this course. No, 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 we're pioneering it. We're, pioneering, we'll be okay. the first. Yeah. Oh wow, yep. that is that is yeah. interesting. Yeah, I always like to be out on the cutting edge of uh, you know technology plus. So it was technology plus films, and now it's you know technology plus. And education. so, what are the advantages of this uh, new technology versus sitting in the classroom? Good question. Good question. So first of all, when you are inside of a VR room. You can walk up and down and you can look around it. And so imagine, if I'll borrow your phone here, okay. that you have the ability to look into a dollhouse, okay. right? So you're holding up a little Barbie dollhouse, right? And you can look and see like, oh, I see. So they shot the movie from this angle or this angle, uh-huh. or here's the overhead view. And you can see that with a real film. Okay. The director, uh, sorry, the professor can then tell you, well, this is how this was done. And then you come around here and look at this. and that kind of a thing. So that's just one example of how uh, the ability to, to, to be inside of it, to be inside of a three-dimensional space, you can walk onto the set of Star Wars. Oh, right? wow, yes. And you can see where they put the camera and all that good stuff. Yes. So it's going to be a radically different and better way of teaching uh-huh. inside of the virtual medium, and it'll have its technological you know, um, um, hurdles. Sure. Of course it will, sure, right? Yes. But uh, we're going to get over that. We're uh, in theory, our first class launches October first, twenty eighteen. Oh wow! Yeah. coming up real soon. It's coming up real soon. That's great. So, yeah. um, as far as the price point for students that are interested in this this type of technology, what uh, is is the price point greater? I'd love to talk about that. Okay. So, what do you think it costs for a year of film school? You know, uh, my best guess would be maybe between sixty, seventy thousand dollars. You would be exactly right. Oh, is it? Good gosh! Wow, Ladies that was just okay. Annette, our host, wow. super smart. Oh, okay. Yep. So, okay. yep. So it's about sixty or seventy grand. Okay. And that doesn't include housing and food. It and does or doesn't? Does not. Whoa. Books and fees Whoa. and then the cost of your production. Blah yes. blah blah. So it gets on up to you know it can get up to about a hundred grand a year. Yes. Um, and you have to do it. For four years because college is four years uh-huh. therefore they structure film school to be four years yes. right so ours is two years and twenty five thousand dollars so it's a quarter of the price and half the time wow yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's, yeah. that's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's a bargain. <laughs> We're going to have the best film school professors because we can have our pick of whoever wants to do it from anywhere. Uh-huh. Because not only can the students be anywhere, but the 
professors can be anywhere. Now, is this uh, program going to be um, um, offered, say, at AFI, American Film Institution? If I have my way in years to come, yes. Yeah. Because I know that that's a master program, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a tremendous place to affiliate with. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But there are so many amazing film schools that I've taught with. Yes. Uh, you know, Chapman University has the Institute for Creative Reality, and we're now in the dark. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on? All right. A little on? mood lighting kind of a thing here. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody kicked out the plug. But it's, you know, I fortunately... Think we're so, oh, you're right. We're you so can podcast in the dark. Yeah, because, yeah, they can exactly. still hear you. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. The so. voice from behind the light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think they're getting that together. All right. Well, in the meantime, we'll just pretend we're on camera. Okay, okay. Yes. Well, I, I think that is a, just an excellent concept. Oh, and, thanks so much, Annette. Um, I yeah. mean, I'm excited to, to learn more about it and I, maybe perhaps enroll myself. Oh, well, that's fantastic. <laughs> and And... I swear. There we uh, go. Oh, let there be there light. Go. Good. I swear that you know this was not at all staged. I didn't say, you know, Annette, would you say nice things about it? I completely surprised you with this, you right? You certainly did. Yeah. I had no clue as to what we were going to be talking about. That's what my my dates usually say. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very okay, much, thank Annette. You. This has been great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for coming, and it's been a it's been a delight all interviewing right. you. Thanks. Take care. Very nice to meet you. Can you hear me now? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> now okay. Ready. So we're all recorded. Okay, so here we are at the Oscars party, and I want to do a little interview. So why don't you tell me about who you are, what you do, and more importantly, how can we get hold of you on social media before we start? Okay. This is a surprise I told you before yes. the interview. Yes, yes. This is my faith day in Los Angeles. Welcome, welcome to Los Angeles. I recently moved just five days ago. Oh wow, where'd you come from? I come from Madrid, Spain. Oh Madrid, I my love Madrid. My name is Carmen Lazaro. Okay. And I'm a film composer, pianist. Oh, yes. Great. Yes. Great. Yes, that's and my um, can you tell us some movies that you've done or some? some yeah, I've been working a lot for uh, Disney Channel in Spain. Oh wow, Disney in Spain. Are you working here now? Or? And I just arrived, darling, five days. <laughs> 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 and all I have done in five days is just going from party to party, meeting people. Oh, that's great. And it's been wonderful. All the parties, uh, uh, pre Oscars party. Yes. So it's been wonderful. Well, I definitely want to make sure that you we have our our information because we're doing a movie. And yes. with Ed Asner and uh, with Rafael Zelinsky, he's a very well-known um, um, director. And the movie's about um, result, resoluting hate. Okay. Okay. And uh, and it's, it, with Ed Asner, he's a Nazi survivor, and he meets a young lady, a teenage girl, who's wearing Nazi symbolism as style and fashion. Okay. And so he gets very upset with her. And over the course of time, she's a runaway. So she he gives her a home and gives her a life and shows her the way life is and should be. So All it's right. a resolution of hate. Yes. Okay. So, so I think it would be very good. interesting. And so we need some good music. Okay. Yeah. We need some good good theatrics. In the, in, in you need a good music. Uh, I think it, what you're looking for is something with um, both things, you know, uh, action. Yes. A little bit of action. Mysterious. Also yes. Also kind of a touch of thriller. 
Yes. And also emotional. Emotional. Oh. Everything together. Oh wow! I mean, that's actually an interesting point. When you're making music, tell me about the music process. When you're making music,、um, what do you see? The images first, or the theme first? Well, I see the images, okay,、oh. and I do what I do. I'm going to explain you. I start playing piano in the conservatorio,、oh. okay, in Spain when I was five. Okay. So when I was ten and twelve, I was giving concerts to hands and four hands with another pad.、Okay? Oh wow! So I continue, and then from there I continue with music and improvisations. Okay. So I give concerts, improvise concerts. I never read anything; it's my thing. I improvise the concerts. Oh wow! I do. Okay. So for me, watching just an image right now, that screen, that big screen. Uh, all I receive is an emotion. It's like、oh. a language. You start、oh. speaking that language. So the the, the sounds you know, the sounds that you make、uh, tell the story further for you. Absolutely, it's just what I'm feeling. It's my my feelings. It's just the, my language, and it goes directly to my fingers into the keynotes. I'm a pianist. That's what I do. Oh wow, wow. So、um, for the time I was doing in the direct, okay. And in small places, in small venues, this kind of、uh, um, it was a light for mirror,、uh-huh. mirror, mirror, mirror、right. thing. Just looking at the eyes of someone, not even looking at the keyboard,、uh-huh. and just、uh, feeling what I, you are just giving me through your eyes. Oh wow! Interpreting your life. Huh? That's、yeah. amazing. <laughs> it's scary.、Like、it's <laughs> scary. <laughs> Well, girl, then you're looking、scary. at a lot of things. Did <laughs> you、exactly. go in this eye? There's a lot of story. <laughs> yeah, but who are you to make things? Yeah, of course. You can have. Mo- I mean, you can make comedy with that. Pass from drama to comedy. Why not? Well, you know, it's funny thing is I did the interview with Ed Asner about this movie, and you、yes. know who Ed Asner is? He's a famous actor in America, and、uh, he he's a comedian. He's the only he's the only actor, male actor, that's won the most Emmys in comedy. And the、yes. most Emmys in drama, both. Wow. So what? Him, I, yeah. But what I t- asked them is, I said, when you switch between comedy to drama,、um, how do you prepare yourself? And then I want to ask you the other question. Once you answer that one, you go to drama to com- comedy. How do you prepare for that? He looked at me and he says,、um, I don't prepare because comedy is drama, and good drama is comedy. That's fantastic. And I said. You should be doing a master class <laughs> because it, it just you know in my gut I didn't know the answer, but I was feeling that there was kind of a jointness. And then when I heard him say that, I said, "Wow, here's here's from the speak. Okay, here's a a, a a man who's 89 years old who understands both sides and won awards both sides, yeah, and but, he but truly said it right. But that's a good style of life, don't you yes. think? Yes. To do everyone else. Since very early in the morning, early bird, starting with this thing, this <laughs> thinking. You know what I mean? Life is music, life is drama,、right. but it's comedy too. So,、Sometimes. what's your goal coming to America? First of all, is to enjoy, okay, everything I do.、Uh, find also my goals, find my people.、Uh, I'm on the cinema and film industry. Right. And、uh, yesterday I was very, very, very lucky because I was with、uh, Hans Zimmer. Oh, whoa. And Alexander Splat. Yeah. And I could,、uh, I had the option to get then、uh, my card. Oh, wow. And they were listening to me. I was at the at this meeting party for the associate、uh, from Los Angeles for composers. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I came into the party, but when I arrived, they asked me at the door. Uh, are you in the list? And I said no, but I'm a Spanish composer. I don't think there's many people like me. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. No problem at all. And then what? <laughs> what I saw is,、uh, I don't know, hundreds of men, hundreds of men. Oh wow! And just a few women. Oh wow! So I realized that、uh, there's a space for me here <laughs> as a composer. <laughs> there's, you know, the piece of pie. For me, is he? Is waiting for me. What I love is the confidence. <laughs> of course, if I don't trust myself, who's gonna trust? <laughs> I tell young people all the time that you know, whatever happens in life, you just gotta make sure you look in the mirror and you believe in that person. Yes, but also you believe in yourself, but you know because your skills and your abilities and capacities is a long time and technically preparing yourself. It's、well, not only I know what I do, I know what I do, blah blah blah. No, 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 no. Nope. 
It's also I, the same for to, actors and actresses. I used to train athletes for many, many years. I was a coach for very, very, very high-level athletes, and um, I used to tell them all the time that that we're lucky and we win because we train hard. I said, you know, luck is when hard work meets up with opportunity. That's completely. And that is the most important element here. And then I always to say things like, you got to stay humble, because overconfidence teaches you how to become humble. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry if I was just pretending to be like whatever. But you know what was my synthesis yesterday when I was with these super maestros? Yes. Hans Zimmer. I said, you know how much I need to learn from you, from your team of composers. I want to be there as an interner if it's necessary. I want to learn. I want to be good. You know, masters. That's what I said. You know, masters never stop learning. You know that. I That's a secret so. I just passed to you. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I like it very much. I keep it with me and I came here to learn. That's my last sentence. There you go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. So, well, how could we get a hold of you on Instant Media if we wanted to uh, basically contact you about doing a score for us? Okay, uh, you mean in Los Angeles? Sure. Uh, well, I've just start. So, how long are you going to be here in LA? Five days in LA. I just moved here. My piano is in a boat coming to LA. Okay. They still do that. <laughs> I didn't so know. So how, how long are you going to be here? How long? As much as Los Angeles love me <laughs> and give me job and let you, me you be happy. Give me work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. And I can make my living and I can of be course. very happy. Surround by professional people, learning a lot with them. That's. But the you can most. go back to Disney, right? You, Sorry. You can no. do Disney work. I did in I yeah. did in Spain. Oh, but this great. time I do. I mean, I want to learn every kind of uh, work. Well, I have your contact information. I want to get yes. it before we get out of here, and uh, make sure before you leave, give it to me. Yes. I'm going to have our uh, director look at your stuff and get an inside of what he thinks. I get your word. No, absolutely. No, 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 no. I tell I, you. I only have one thing <laughs> in my life, and that's my word. Okay. Understand that? And that's it. That's all Perfect. I got. And, and I spell that W-O-R-D. Okay, oh, not right. W-U-R-D. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe you. Thank you so much for no, the interview. So it's awesome. my first Thank thing. And in you're Los gonna, Angeles, not be my fifth day. It's yeah. my fifth day. Never forget. We met. We <laughs> met the fifth day. Yes, the fifth day. That's a magic number, you know. Five it is. is. Yeah. It's, it's not a lonely be. number. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye.
Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Come, come up a little higher so I can. Oh no, she turned it off, I think. There we go. Talk uh, <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. go. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> you, look my, you look my brother. <laughs> no, seriously. Really? When I looked at him, I, I like, saw you from there and I'm like, yeah. is that my brother? <laughs> yeah, I was talking to you. <laughs> what's going on, bro? Mike, what's going on? Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's talk about your career, okay? Sure, You're yeah. at the Oscars. Yeah. And uh, just to let you know, my name is Michael Pina, and I go by Michael Pina Comedian, okay, <laughs> on social media. So, give me your social media tag so we can find you. Oh, yeah. Uh, my name is uh, Nav Kang. My social media tag is Real Nav Kang. Real Nav King. Yeah. Okay. Kang, K A N G. K A N G. And do you do things uh, in all all platforms as far as uh, your social media, your Twitter, Instagram? What do you want? Yeah, yeah. Um, Instagram right now, and then um, I have a Twitter as well. That I, it's more I use it as a personal one, but it's uh, Navnor Kang at Navnor Kang. Oh, great, yeah. great. So let's talk a little bit about. Um, uh, we're at the Oscars, and I, before I go into you, let's talk about what the Oscar means to you. Oh, the Oscar is um, it, it's it's recognition of of, of your art. Oh, your art. Uh, yeah, it's recognition of your art and by your peers. Okay. Um, so I think it's just a, when you have a bunch of artists together and you collectively celebrate other artists, um, it's amazing. I think it's a great. You want to, as a, as an artist, you want to get a message across, and 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 you hope that people listen, okay. and you hope that people, you know, appreciate that or, or mean something. And for for me personally, you know, that's where um, some like an Oscar would mean that to me. Uh, I'd be telling a story and hopefully get uh, make a difference. Right, and there'd be recognition of of making that difference. I hope so. We're at an Oscar show, and there's a lot of people dressed up here really nice, yep. and they're coming to watch the, the industry do its best, and I have a hard time not believing that when they're watching these people on the screen, especially since they're at an Oscar party, they don't picture themselves in it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to get deep on you here for a second. Yeah. So you're sitting here at an Oscar show. You want to be an actor. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to get into this realm. What Absolutely. do you picture when you see this in your mind? I picture... I picture myself up there. I picture uh, looking out and seeing my parents. And oh wow! Seeing my sister. I get I get uh, I get choked up every time I just think about it, or even when I'm watching it, because I'm. You hear these wonderful speeches, and you hear these right. people who, and their stories, and where they've come from, what they've done, how hard they've worked, and and you know you hope you get that moment to um, thank the people that have supported you. Right. You know the imagery. Uh, well, you just talked about something called imagery. Okay, imagery is when you picture yourself and actually shoot for it. It's in goal making. Just yeah. let you know. Okay, <laughs> if you don't know, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm being grandpa for a second. Okay, <laughs> that imagery is so important in life because those who image themselves in one place or another actually get there. Those who look at it never get there. Right. So it's kind of fascinating that you're saying you're looking at this thing and you're actually picturing. That was a trick question, by the way. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see where your goals were, where your mind was. Yeah. And wow, I'm pretty impressed. So talk about what you, how long you've been acting. A little bit over about a year. About a year. A year. Yeah. So uh, what did you do before acting? I used to work in in finance. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, I was in the whole like investment world for a number of years, and. Um, yeah, there's a there's a time when I decided it was time to do something a little bit different. Take that same skill set um, and do something artistic. Uh, you know, I have a my mom's here. She's a she's a wonderful artist, and yeah. and we you know we talk all, we talk about you know big picture ideas, ways to help people. Uh, we care about the world, <laughs> and um, and you can do. I think I feel like you can do a lot of things with art, but art generally artists don't have 
uh, it's, I, can't, I don't want to generalize, but oftentimes don't have a, a business background. And when you, when you can put the two together, you can actually get something done. Right. right. And, and uh, you know, that's where I, I felt that I had this creative itch and I had this other background. So if I can help bring the two things together, right. um, I improve my chances of success um, and um, hopefully make him, uh, making some really uh, some great, telling some great stories. Hopefully. Well, you know, you're a millennial. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and I think that millennials, um, I have a millennial people that live with me, young, young couple that live with me. <laughs> and one time I, I said to them, you're the most disenfranchised generation I've ever met. He looked at me in shock. I said, no, you are so disenfranchised, you don't understand. We had, we had this long argument. And he was like, no, that's not true. That's not true. We have all these opportunities and we can make it happen. Blah, 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 blah. Three weeks later, he looks at me and he's like, I said, yeah, I was right, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying is this. Um, it's so hard to get into the industry mm -hmm. today because it's actually easiest to get in the industry. But that means there's so many thousands more in front of you. Sure. So if you have talent, you're sometimes overshadowed by people who have access. Maybe Absolutely. As much, maybe not as much talent. Sure. Okay. Um, all the social media platforms either help us or hurt us because mm -hmm. you could have a, a million followers and they could have been bought. Right. Okay. Yeah. And and I, I love social media. I'm kind of like this. Uh, I like to bucket things. So don't get me wrong. I like to bucket things. Yeah. <laughs> so I bucket things and I look at social media and I say, Oh, look at this young person who has over a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand or five million followers. And I look at their background. And I'm like, Oh, they all come from rich families. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see somebody from the hood, somebody from the ghetto, right. somebody from the project where I grew up having a million followers. Okay. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Everybody wants to see the lavish lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah. So the reason why I bring that up is that I see you having these visions and dreams. And, and I think if I answer this question, you're going to answer it. So what's your strategy? How do you think you're going to be different so you can stand out? I think the, the best thing you can do is, is be really really honest with yourself um, that that's the biggest key here uh, you don't need to follow somebody else don't need to um, um, get caught up in looking at what other people are doing really set out your goal and right. then and then make sure you map that point a to point z that you're trying right. to get to uh, and be and be very specific about it and don't just say oh, i want to be an actor so i'm going to move to la and then sit around and hope somebody notices me you know put the work in you know get good at your craft you know, there's a lot of pretty faces out there, uh, and there's a lot of really talented people out there too. Right. So you have to you have to put in the work. It's not it doesn't happen by accident. And, if, and you know what? You know, good for you if you do get a little bit of a lucky break. You know, you you put yourself in the right place at the right time, right. And, and you put the work in. That's great. Then you know it's meant to happen. Then. And some people, you know, you also can't look to other people and say this person made it in a year. This person, these are people who took 30 years. Right. But they believed in what they were doing. They had a passion for it. And I think that's where you have to be really honest with yourself. Do you really have a passion or are you chasing something different? So um, you gave up investment banking. So you're not doing that anymore? No, not in like not in a traditional sense. Oh, right. Yeah. So you're doing it in the millennial way. <laughs> the millennial way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, yeah, not working at, a, at, a, at an institution. Right. But, but doing it more in a, um, you know, looking at how to put say like a film project together so I'm, I'm writing something right now that um, you know I, I was really like clear and honest I went and reached out to some people that I thought would be interested um, and, and a couple of studios have, have actually been responsive oh, wow. and um, they, they like the concept uh, and, and now it's just a matter of execution on my side Do that's I, amazing at least so I get that look right um, right right but it came from like being really, really you know, clear in what I want to do. I have this saying that I said to my young millennial friends, and I say this all the time to them. I said, you know, if you're not in the conversation, you're never going to be part of the deal. <laughs> Absolutely true. <laughs> and, and, and they looked at me when I first said that, and I said, I just thought of that. I said, but it's the absolute truth, because I saw it in the trend. Everybody that's part of the deal is always in the conversation. Yeah. Okay, and it, it, that, that are part of the deal. Mm -hmm. So, how many deals do you have to be in to be part of? You learn that in investment banking, right? And you really break it down to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And there's, there's 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 so many deals, and you yeah you have to you have to look at them, and they're not all going to be things that make sense. Yeah. So, tell me about your acting. What have you been doing lately? Uh, so, right now, uh, pre-production for a film called Jacob's Honor. Okay. Um, and. Uh, you know, outside of that, did some. Um, been doing a lot of commercial work, 
Uh, actually, th- it's interesting. There's a Walmart commercial that aired earlier uh, tonight. And, and you were on it? Uh, yeah. I was oh, on, my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some love here. <laughs> You're like, oh, wait. That's me. <laughs> Hold the screen. <laughs> Let's screenshot this bitch. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, the exactly. No, exactly. It's like, oh my god, there's me. Okay. That's I was there funny. for I was there for one second. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> hey mom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, that's amazing. So you're getting some good commercial work. Yeah, yeah. I've been getting some good commercial work. Um, yeah, um, I don't know if I can talk about the ones I just did because they, okay. they're not they're not they're out yet. Yeah. But uh, they're commercial. I did, yeah, I did, I did okay. just spot for Sci-Fi Channel as well. It oh, was right. a promo um, just this past week. Um, oh, great. So you're getting, you're getting in the conversation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, have to, you have to put yourself out there. And, and you know, the thing is, uh, nothing's too small. Right. Right. If you want, if you really care about doing this, you show up to your auditions. You know, you 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 know. Sometimes the pay's not great, or right. sometimes there there may not be a, a paycheck. Right. You know, but if you believe in that particular project, then do it. You know, and, and you know, I just uh, so we're casting for a movie right now, and uh, we just had our production meeting the other day, and we're having it again tomorrow. And I and I keep pushing them from the, from the crazy side, and the crazy side is that guys, let's use Instagram. Let's talk to the younger generation. Mm-hmm. We're casting for a young teenage girl. Okay. So let's use social media. Yeah. Let's do have them do one minute social media pushes. Sure. I said, why not chill with the script? Why not just get you know get the community involved? Yeah. In the because it's an indie film. Yeah. We want it to be. In, we, we're doing it purposely to be. We're budgeted. Yeah. We're, but we purposely want it to be an indie film. Sure. We don't want to be a twenty million dollar indie film. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, that isn't an indie film. That's fucking, you know, you right. got 10 million for marketing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, let's let's go to let's go to everyone mm-hmm. and push out there because we actually have to be young actor as well. Yeah. You know, let's, and let's go out there again and reach out for the actor. Yeah. And let's grab them from the grassroots. Sure. Okay. And give them the opportunity to be in a, a movie with Ed Asner. Okay. The the you know who he is. Yeah. You know, and, and he's a great. We actually had an interview with him just recently about the movie. And I asked him, you know, because he's actually the most decorated actor. I don't know if you know this. Between um, for men on the Emmy side, okay. he's gotten uh, seven. Let me think. Of, you do the math right. He's been nominated <laughs> for seventeen Emmys. Okay. He's won three on each side, comedy and drama, most than anybody's ever done. Wow. You know, comedy and drama. And I asked him. I said, so when you went from comedy, um, how was it to transition to 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 uh, drama? And then I said, when you went from drama, how was it to come, you know, to transition to, to comedy? And he says, well, drama is comedy. And comedy is drama. Yeah. So they're the same when you really think about the emotion involved in each. Absolutely. And I was like, dude, you just did a master class. <laughs> and I didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, look, that's, uh, you know, the, the old Greek tragedies. They, that's how it all started. And then they, they, they tweaked it and made it a comedy. They made a comedy. And, right. And, you know, it's the same... Um, the same like base right yeah it's yeah. so it's so same base ingredient it's nice. and, 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 and it is it and it always comes down to good storytelling is with emotion yeah that comes to a conclusion mm-hmm. whether it's a cry or whether yeah. it's a laughter I used to say uh, laughter is the best medicine yeah you know and, and I think it's true yeah. well you know what I can't look forward yeah. to seeing you in more opportunities no thank you and I've seen you in the conversation and I know we're going to see you in the conversation I really I mean, you have a great that. look you know you. you have the right attitude uh, you understand the business side because you know what I do say that even though you guys are disenfranchised <laughs> <laughs> I think there's going to be a few of you who do really well. Okay? Yeah. And, and not just buy things like Snapchat. Okay? But right, they're doing right, really right. well with their, with, with their content and actually make it tell a great story. No, thank so, you. good. I'm looking forward to seeing you more. And let's give me a big shake and a high five because that's what I like. Awesome. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> you too. Oh, yeah. Tell everybody on social media so we get hold of you one more time. Uh, at Real Nav Kang. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Great. Okay, thank bye-bye. You. Bye-bye. Great interview. <laughs> Thank you for letting me use the uh, voice